The U.S. death toll from the coronavirus passed 100,000 late Wednesday, far exceeding reported deaths in every other country. Black Americans made up a disproportionately large share of the deaths, according to an analysis of data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Two new studies that looked at the share of total infections that are asymptomatic are raising questions about how widely the virus might have already spread throughout the seemingly healthy population. This is CNBC's live blog covering all the latest news on the coronavirus outbreak. This blog will be updated throughout the day as the news breaks. The data above was compiled by Johns Hopkins University, 9.29 a.m. E.T., Abercrombie & Fitch's sales tanked 34% during the first quarter because of forced store closures during the coronavirus pandemic. The company joins other apparel and mall-based retailers such as Macy's and L Brands struggling to entice consumers to shop during the COVID-19 crisis. Sales at the company's namesake Abercrombie brand were down 30%, while Hollister sales were down 36%. About 50% of Abercrombie's stores globally are reopened, the company said. And as Abercrombie's stores turn the lights back on, productivity is returning to about 80% in the U and 60% in the Europe, Middle East and Africa region, according to CEO Fran Horowitz. The company is not offering a second quarter or full-year outlook. Lauren Thomas 909A, ET, bankrupted J.C. Penney said it has reopened 150 more stores in 27 states, bringing the total number of locations it has reopened during the COVID-19 crisis to 304. It said five locations are doing curbside pickup only. The company said in a press release that feedback from consumers has been overwhelmingly positive as it reopens for business. It says nearly 500 shops should be reopened by June 3. Meantime, the company is set to permanently shut about 240 locations as part of its restructuring in bankruptcy. It filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on May 15. Lauren Thomas 854A, ET, another two. One million Americans filed first-time claims for unemployment benefits last week, the lowest total since the coronavirus crisis began. Economists surveyed by Dow Jones had been looking for 2.05 million continuing claims, or those who have been collecting for at least two weeks, numbered 21.05 million. That number dropped by 3.86 million from the previous week. The insured unemployment rate, which is a basic calculation of those collecting benefits versus the total labor force, fell sharply to 14. 5% from 17, 1% the previous week. Since the pandemic was declared in mid-March, more than 40 million have filed claims. Read the full report on weekly jobless claims from CNBC's Jeff Cox. Melody Warner 830A, ET, CVS Health said it will reach its goal of having 1,000 COVID-19 test sites in the U later this week.